Now that we've got all of our objects loaded into a stack here and we have these individual files, what we're going to do now is we're going to attempt to stitch these together using Photoshop's Photo Merge. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to select all of these layers. Now if you didn't already have these loaded into a stack, you would simply go up under the File Automate menu and choose Photo Merge and then select the different files that you wanted to open up inside of the Photo Merge dialog box. But for now, we have all these files loaded into a stack. So what I'm going to do is select all of these layers here in the Layers panel. I'm going to come up here to the Edit menu and I'm going to choose Auto Align Layers. This is going to bring up the alignment dialog box, which is exactly the same as what you would see inside the photo merge dialog box. What we're going to do is we're going to choose the auto projection feature here. And for those of you who are used to using the old style type of interaction interface that photo merge used to have, you could go ahead and choose reposition only down here at the bottom. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to choose auto. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Photoshop's going to go through here. It's going to attempt to auto align all of these images together. And then when it's finished, we should have one long panoramic image. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom out now by using Control minus on my keyboard. And we should have all of those photographs perfectly aligned together like you see here. What you can also do, like I said before, if you wanted that interactive layout, you could go ahead and use that old school style layout. And I'll show you exactly how to do that now. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to go to File. This time I'm going to choose Automate and we'll choose photo merge from this set of options and we'll just load those files that we had inside of that photo merge folder in our project files folder go ahead and click OK this time I'll go in here to the interactive layout at the bottom and what I'll choose here is OK after that and once I open these up we're gonna have all of these files loaded up into one single image inside of this dialog box here now, with this interactive layout, you have the ability to click on these individual files and move them around anywhere you want to to kind of align those together. Now, the cool part about this is they automatically snap together most of the time to kind of fit with one another. And you can control that by turning snap image on and off right over here on the right hand side. Or you could also change the settings here to perspective which is going to significantly change the way it aligns those images together like so so that it can see the perspective that you took the photographs with and so forth. And you can also when you're in here zoom in and out by the way simply by increasing this viewfinder over here on the right hand side. So like I said this is a great way if you feel confident enough to align these images yourself this is a nice way to go in and get that overall control. However I don't particularly care for this simply because I don't want to take the time to go through there and do all that myself so I trust Photoshop to do it for me and as you see here in this original document that we created here Photoshop's done a great job of taking those photographs and aligning them together however you do see some problems in the fact that we have several bits of transparency at the top and bottom here and we also have several seams throughout the image that are causing it to look a little bit different as far as tonality goes so in the next lesson we'll take a look at exactly how to eliminate these type of problems